Grab your drinks, guys. It is time to put the world away. Welcome to Kelty Hearts. The end of the season. Did we survive? Did we survive? Right? The last time I saw you guys, there was, what, five matches left? Maybe six? We had a 10-point lead. So, what? Three wins and, and a draw. And the league was in a split. And we were going to play the bottom teams of the teams around us. Um, I would say good chances, right? 95% we probably survived. Did we? Well, here's our balance so far. Did we survive? I'll just show you the table right now. We survived. Wish I could find that email. The email said we survived somewhere. Um, but we did it. Woohoo! But so the last time I left you guys off was the we got our butt beat, right? We didn't have no heart. We couldn't find we just we couldn't find anything. No defense <laughs> or no offense here. But hey, we got some money for this and we made it far. We made it to the semifinals. So hey, we gotta be proud of ourselves. First year in the premiership. We made it to the semifinals of the Scottish Cup, got some money, played Aberdeen. It was all them, but hey, we move on, right? And we had our first month of, of not winning a match. Yeah, there is one in September that we won. So yeah, it was our first, yep, our first month, so our worst month, but you know, there's only three, three league matches. And whoa, our, our first month that we went goalless and winless. Goalless and winless April. Let's forget April, huh? Let's move on. So that one was off um, after I uh, after the video, and they scored one in the fourth, and that that was it. So we move on to May. We're in this, you know, the, the league split here, so it's called the the relegation group, huh? I got me some iced coffee today. Let's see. So we played Livingston, and hey, we showed up in May. A 3-1 win against Livingston. Ben Williamson scored a 20. Jay High in the 34th, and Duncan Kerr. And with this win here against Livingston, that's when we got the uh, email saying, we have survived. We have survived because Motherwall and... The teams below it, Inverness lost. It wasn't they were already out of it, but it was Motherwall that lost, and uh, that was it. So that was great, and uh, which I'm glad we got survived because you can see we had to change goalkeepers because May, I think it was May seventh, two days before the Inverness, Mister Tom Homer got hurt. He's still hurt. He had a twisted ankle. Suffered in training on May 7th. And the reports did say he was injury prone. Barely susceptible. So we got lucky, right? The first time he got injured was against that uh, cup, uh, which Hibb and Laidlaw, the backup goalkeeper, stepped up. Um, yeah, he got injured twice. That nine cause he kicked the ball. <laughs> nine days hurt there pulled thigh, and then a twisted ankle here and in, in turning sharply. Okay, so. Um, Liverpool just signed him because, you know, there was a few teams. It took a while. I guess they were thinking about it. But they signed him for a couple of years. I would probably try, even though he's injury susceptible. Is it a gamble that we just got lucky that his injuries didn't affect our, our games too much? That with this quality and he's developing... I would try to maybe, we'll see if we can get him on loan again uh, next year. If he'll come to me, um, we'll figure that out when it comes, right? But let's move on. Our second Inverness. So we already got, we saved up. We're safe. Woohoo! No worrying about it anymore, right? We can just sit and we partied. And boy, did we ever party. We went to Inverness and Laidlaw, the backup goalkeeper. He's stepping up the times that he is playing. But six goals, you know what? I'm going to show you. He's only got the one match today. 
and I'll try to keep the season review to a uh, look at this two strikers with the 10. You guys ever have <laughs> both strikers with a 10? I've never had that before. Let's go. So he, here's the goals. We'll show you all the goals, seven goals. We'll even show you their one goal. But Kerr up over top. Look who got the assist. The goalkeeper, Laidlaws, booted it forward all the way up. And then Kerr had it under control. Paddled the, the defender there, but he had under control and he made it. So it was a goalkeeper with the uh, the assist. And there was another beautiful pass in Lecco, Pastrello, and then Kerr. Bucks has this one. Maris up over top. And Buick just runs up on it. And blink, there it is. Boop, there it is. He's starting to. I'm glad I signed him because ever since I've signed him with the contract with us, he's done well, Buick. And there you go. I mean, they both got the two strikers with two, with two ten strikers. And Pistrello battling it and they're in the box. And then Timmy with the shot. Whoa, with the defender. Yeah, it was off from a corner. And then they, they got a corner. Ah, uh, we gave them one. Uh, we don't have to give everybody a clean sheet, their bonus. <laughs> so we saved a little bit of money there. But nice pass, Pastrello. Uh, I'm, he's doing great. He's doing great. This, there's some big teams sniffing for him. That's all. But that's that's awesome. <laughs> Both strikers with a 10. All right, so moving on. Right, we haven't had too many highlights this year. I gotta show you guys some of the beautiful goals that we have had, and we had quite the form here because I guess we're playing the lower league teams here, uh, or not lower league, the lower. But hey, this is this is our best. This is our best form all year, right? Yes, of course it is. <laughs> January was our best month. Might be this if we can get. Well, this this is already our best month now. We're going to play St. Johnstone. Let's see. We beat them. We beat them every time, except the last time we played them. Um, what other big news? Uh, yeah, the injury. I showed you guys the uh, um, goalkeeper there. Boom. I have um, a couple guys here on loan. There's another Hungarian. So that might help Bucks out. I don't know if I'm going to sign him yet. A uh, 26-year-old Daniel Sizoka. Probably like Zoka, huh? Uh, it's C Zoka. C Zoka in my book. Um, and then I have a Welsh youngster. These guys are on trial here. Um, and then this Icelandic player looks good. These are all freeze, by the way. So hey, we I just just was able to see most of his. There's a couple that we don't have his attribute wise, but he looks look at that teamwork and work rate. I like that. And um Physically, he's already he's only 19. Where's his history? Where's he from? Dynamo. Okay. Does he say he'll get a work permit? Oh, maybe not. Unfortunately, it would probably fail to gain a work permit. So there goes that dream. Uh, what about this Hungarian? 6'2. Would he fail to get a work permit? Is he's an international, so probably not. He'll probably get one. Where's he from? Oh, he played it. Was in AFC Wimbledon for six years, if I can count here. Wolves. So yeah, he'll probably get one. He got six caps for Hungary. Oh yeah, here's the other thing, real quick. Um, no transfers. We got a bunch of guys on trial. Um, where's the promises? Promises. Promises. Oh, promises. Okay, I'm trying to loan out Andy Longmire. He's he's happy that I've attempted to. But this, now read Daniel Bucks. Guys, read this promise. We'll use him in preferred position as a left winger with an inverted winger role, right? That's what I've been using him as. It says he has 10 days left, and he's very concerned that he still isn't getting getting much playing time his preferred position and role. Let's let's take a look and see what I've been playing him as. Ready? Form. Inverted winger. Inverted winger. Inverted winger. Right? <laughs> inverted winger. One time I played him as an advanced uh, inverted winger. Advanced mid midfielder. Inverted winger. Inverted. Okay, right? He's my number one star. 32. 
But if you hover over the promise, let's go back to the promise. If you hover over it, promise to play Daniel Bucks, it says something different in his preferred position. Ready? As an attacking mid left midfielder in inverted role. So hover over, hover over stuff, you'll get a different thing. So he's unhappy because he's playing here instead of right here. What is it? Five feet higher on the pitch? 10 feet higher, maybe? What the flim flam is going on, buddy? Inverted winger attacking left winger. That's what you wanted. He's not happy because I'm playing him here. So I don't know. There's only, what, 10 more days? And I, you know, he didn't play enough. So he's probably 10 days left. So he's going to be probably, he was the unhappy guy, right? We finally made him unhappy, got him, got him happy because there were some bigger teams. I didn't allow him to, um, to go out on that. There were some bigger squads here in Scotland that, that made a bid for him. And I rejected him and he was unhappy for a good month or two, maybe. Finally, now this. So there's something about this guy. The, the FM gods here don't want me to make keep this guy happy at our club. So hover over everything. It'll say something different. Attacking midfielder, left mid as an inverted winger. Well, you know what? I'm not going to I'll play. It's the last mat. Let's see what can happen. They will play you as the attacking inverted winger. Uh, yeah, why not just go all out? It's our last match of the year. Um, you know, I'll take off because it's kind of messy. I like to take an, an available off. And who, who do we have as the most goals, right? It's Kerr, right? 23 in J high, 20. So we're going to start them too. Uh, up top, see where they can finish up us. And Pastrells is tired. I guess our last match was what? Just a couple days ago. Is that what's going on here? Oh, yeah, three days ago. That's why we got everybody just kind of tired here. So I did the best I could. Timmy's probably had to get subbed off the halftime, put Atkinson in there or something. But, yep, players are developing well. Um, what else did I want to show you? That's it. Let's get going. We got the, we got the season review to do. Um, who am I going to play? I think I got just two players that are running out of contract. That's Balmer which I've been playing was the central defender and my mind, my memory is going. Uh, Maris, I think. Nobody wants them. I should, they're both three star guys and they, and they did well. So I might as well sign them. They're both actually still on the part-time contract. So I'll go and see what they want. We'll see what, what, what theatrics happens over the, the summer, what drama happens and what players get come and leave. Oh, Jay High just to the left. Um, and of course, the wage budget. We're going to get, I think it's for 10th. We're in 10th. And there's no way we'll move up even if we win, right? Yeah, we'll have 42. So 10th was, I think, $1.14 million. Um, Oh, we did get like almost 200000 for the Scottish Cup. There was a pool, the pool money for that. I guess we all went swimming or something. I don't know. But we got, it was like $184,000 for the Scottish Cup. Um, some participation money that all the teams get divided up, I guess, and based uh, the more money, the farther you went in the, the cup, I guess, the more money you get. So that helped us. So we're, like I said, I showed you guys, what was it? 600 and something thousand we have, plus we'll get the million. So that's good. We're professional. We'll see what players come and leave in the off season. Um, Tony Watt scored. Mr. Assist by Elvis is out there on the pitch. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, definitely another goalkeeper. I'm just saying that off the top of my head here. Laidlaw is not going to cut it. I mean, he's actually... <laughs> <laughs> he's doing well. Uh, the few matches that he's played. Nice cross whip in there, but can't control it. Maris is out there. Yeah, I think I'll sign. I'll try to sign Maris. We'll see what he gets. But look at that. Maris cross over to Letko. Is he going to stay? Yeah, it's a non-sides. Letko. There you go. 
Let go. There you go. Because we got a, we better have a cell out here. It looks close. Yeah, there's there's a few empty benches areas right here, so I don't think it's a sellout, but gotta get those fans up, man. They got a bunch of fans. St. Johnstone here. They pack the seats in there. Or the bench. Um Kerr, like I said, there's play there's teams coming in for Kerr. Um and Buick? No. Kerr and Pastrello, the Italian. Roma, I think there's another team now coming in for Pastrello. It's not an Italian team, though. But hey, they're rated for what? Up to 2 million. So if I can get 2 million, yeah, my board's going to probably have not going to let me reject it. They're going to be, excuse me, we can get $2 million here or 2 million, 2 million pounds, excuse me. Let's go. What's this guy's name? Bo -wo -mo -wo -mo 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 -no -wo. There's Tony Watt. He looked good from Elvis again. So they got the partnership there, huh? Oh, I wanted to go undefeated. Let's go. Let's get undefeated here our last uh our last uh, month. Yeah, bombers beat. We'll put Atkinson the youngster. Oh. Nope, not that. Nope. What is going on here? Atkinson. And what's Pastrello's motivated? What midfielder? Bucks is always. Wingers get tired quickly, right? Um, now hopefully he's happy now, not after one match. We're actually going to put Jay High over here. His old position, huh? He used to play inside forward here up all the time. We're going to put Vuick since he's motivated. Nope. Yeah, there's been some... I'll talk about this, but... Mr. Williams, that was a... Uh, <laughs> a rush deal in the, the transfer window in January, right? Him and in this... Paying Daniel Williams. I thought we needed another midfielder. I was hoping nobody got hurt because we lost a few in the January transfer window. So I signed him on a rush deal because he was the only player I could sign. And I signed him. It's a thousand... I'm paying a thousand pounds a week for two more years. And I didn't even, I used to maybe three sub, three subs. He just didn't do it. Uh, pin rice. Let's go. Let's go. What, what am I doing here? What, why ain't I, I'm not on attacking. What is going on? St. Johnston's up here. Can they actually move up? No. Another spot. All right. Who can we? 75th minute, uh, Pastrello, uh, Miller time, let go, yeah, we'll put Miller in there, he's still got, I'm hopeful, <laughs> he's, he's hasn't performed well at all, his concentration's a two, I think that's what's letting him up, man. he's done some bad passes, Buick, nice hustle, see, I'm liking that, it must be their work rate, but I think he's only got like an eight work rate. He 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 gets those. He has a pressing forward, and that's their job. He gets those loose balls, man. Hustles. I like a hustler. Oh, they're passing around good. Yeah, they look like a good team. St. Johnstone. Decent. But hey, look at that. Flatman comes. I like to get him too. I have him on loan. And Kerr, there you go. Kerr, beat your man. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Duncan Kerr, and there's probably some scouts right there in the fans that, yep, we want him. We want him. Right now, um, luckily, the teams that do want him are on the lower, the lower bottom half here of the premiership. So maybe he'll be like, even though our reputation's lower than him, maybe he'll be like, nah, I'm going to stay here with Kelty Hearts. But it all depends on their hidden attribute, right? On their loyalty. If they want to stay, and it depends obviously if they offer them a bigger contract. I mean, go go make your money, buddy. I don't blame you. Make it while you can. But hey, look at that. So we were undefeated here in the last month. So we went out with a bang. We went out good form, forty points. So what is that? Thirteen, if I could do math from eleven spots, I would say we did well. 
for our first year in the premiership here in Scotland. We did it with a wonky <laughs> a tactic that I've never used. And um, yeah, this crazy 3-3, three, three, oh, they changed it, 3-3-4 three, three, defensive midfielder. Why well, changed it up there? I use this quite a bit, 3-1-3-3, three, 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 and we use this. Well, they're sitting back here just for this. That's what I use, I normally had. But Bucks, we'll see if this happens with this promise, because I broke this promise, because I didn't over, yeah, you know, 10 days left, there's no more matches, so looks like it's only, he's still very concerned, because I didn't hover over, I didn't hover over <laughs> the promise. All right, Harry, let's get to this um, season review here. I'll be right back. All right, it was just the next click, and here's the season review, guys. Kelty Hearts, end of season review, 25-26 season. New arrivals, I would say what? I would say probably Tom Homer, the Loney. Vuick, yeah, can't argue with that either. Vuick. Um, Homer, um, there's Homer here, uh, Flatman as well. The board are very pleased with a deal to sign Devor Buick. And he didn't do too hot when he was on loan, but that was crazy. We signed him and he was just he, phenomenal. This is mainly due to both the transfer fee and the player's wage. Yeah, we got him on a free. Great value for money. All right, um, <laughs> the backup goalkeeper's in there. I think we got, for 3,000 pounds, he did well for us for the four appearances with that cup. It made us a lot of money. So we, got, we got further, we made another cup, another cup match. We went further in the, to the semifinal. Uh, Penrice, was that worth 53,000 pounds? I would say so, 7.25, 41 appearances. For it with a 7.25, and we're sitting at the bottom, you know, bottom half of the table. Flatman as well, great loan. Hopefully, I can get him on loan from the Hearts again. We'll see. Um, and that marking is nine, but I think he he did well, 7.17. And then the youngster we got, great uh, from Man City. Matthew Atkinson developing well. Marking's up to 11, even going up further. So he had uh, 19 years old, over a seven. And then, of course, from Liverpool, the, the Loney, Tom Homer, a seven. And even, oh, so you have to get over a seven to get the green, huh? I thought it was right at seven. 42 appearances. There's a couple other stories. This was a fail loan. He was hurt a lot of the time. Just Owen Moffat didn't use him much. Daniel McKay. So, hey, you know, you win some, you lose some on the signees, right? Season three member fight bravely against relegation. I would say we did better than that. Final position is 10 because look at 13 points above. Um... Average home attendance is 2306. So yeah, 86%. So we could probably start thinking about my board. Hello, board. Expanding our stadium a little bit. Uh, competition top goal scorer, Duncan Kerr, 17 goals. And we got a B minus. We staved off relegation. Good deal. And our best form here at the end of the year. And then we had that little run there in the end of December, beginning of February. 11 wins, seven draws, and 20 losses. 23A, we're, we're looking to do better next year, right? Always moving up. There was a huge win, 6-1. I showed you guys the goals on that. Um, goal of the season. Maris, huh? 25-yarder. All right, um, club's reputation hasn't changed. Eh, it's gone up a little bit. I'll look at the list here a little bit. No new sponsorship deal. Ah, we'll get some new ones, huh? Sponsorship deal that went up. Board, a broadcast revenue. 
definitely went up. Well, in the when the premiership, I mean, four hundred ninety-two thousand compared to twenty-three thousand last year. Yeah, this is all the TV money. So um, competition, and last year we had seven fifteen. Wait, what? Hundred thousand this year competition prize money. Huh. Maybe you know, it's counting the the league. I think that seven fifteen last year because we won the league in the championship, and we got what was it like six hundred thousand or something. Um, match day commercial, so that's a little bit better. Hey, we're up to three hundred and forty two shirts sold. J High, Kerr, Pastrello, Maris, and Letgo. How we lined up? Here's our best eleven according to the game. Uh, Homer. Timmy, Flatman, Bomber, Penrice. Okay. Uh, maybe Atkinson in there. It's Yeah, if I had to go with three. Yeah, man, it's, it's such a toss-up. Atkinson's right even with these three guys, I think. Uh, Leco on the on the right. Maris, Pastrello. Okay, yeah. Bucks, he wants to play here, <laughs> attacking left winger, Kerr and Jay High, wow, even Vuick was my what, signee, right, he was the signee of the, yeah, Vuick was the signee of the season, he still didn't make it, in the top 11. So that's, I guess, how our good um, our strikers were. They had no place for them. Um, wait, hold on a second. There we go. Epistrello, okay, Kerr. All right. Um, hey, I got one. Oh, that's right. I did get the head cut. What? Head coach of the year championship. Okay. Confuse me. Not this year. I didn't get the head coach. Oh, but I did get third, guys. I didn't show you guys that. I'll have to show you. I'll probably forget. But I got third in the premiership this year, it said. Um, okay, Club Awards. Fans, player of the season, Duncan Kerr. Yep, yeah, we love our strikers, huh? 19-year-old, Duncan Kerr, young player of the season, Duncan Kerr. Sign of the season, if you, we saw that. Goal was Maris, top goal scorer, Duncan Kerr with 24 overall. Most assists, 8, Maris. Uh, most player of the matches was Jay High with 9. Highest average rating, 7.4. Most passes completed per 90 was Bomb. Really? I would have picked Maris. Have to look at that. Balmer, passes completed and per 90 minutes, 74. Huh. Worst discipline. You know, we didn't have a whole lot. I got to look at that, but we did really well on, um, I can't recall. No, there was one, it's just one time. That was, that was, it was Williamson. Only one time I had to set out a player for a suspension this year. So we did well in that regards. Uh, most league uh, apps by a player, 161 appearances now. Jay High, record breakers here. Highest transfer fee, yep, I paid Penrise, and I would say he was worth it, 53,000 uh, pounds. Highest transfer fee received, we received 150,000. How's he doing? Is he even playing? <laughs> He's a free agent. He didn't even play, he played three appearances, one goal. What did he, he just signed a year contract? He's a free agent. So they spent 150000 to play him three, not even one start, two subs. All right. In America, they just throw away money, huh? <laughs> Arnett creates new record. The 16 assists by Arnett is a, is a cinch. We're getting, I'm um, getting news from the League One, huh? That's quite a bit of goals. You have to scout him out. 22-year-old. 
Yeah, we'll have to take a look at him. In League One, two leagues below us. All right. I'm getting a players inducted into Kelpie Hart's overall best 11. They still got Jamison back here. Okay, Watson, O'Connor, uh, O'Ware, and Wayne. Okay, so just Maris was added. Barron's still in there. Seahorse. Barjo, Jay High, and then Kerr. So when I don't have them anymore, it reverts back to their old name. Because I have him as Seahorse. Oh, he retired. That's why. Okay. Retired. I only got 27. And you did well for me. All right. So we got uh, season review. We took a look at it. Uh, what is this? The board would like to discuss the club's long-term vision. What do they want me to do? Playing attacking football. Hey, I got a B minus. We'll play probably a little bit more. I'm going to go a little bit more attacking this year. Well, that's all going to come down to the players I sign to. But, of course, I like playing attacking football, even though this year was not so much. Um, playing counter. Make the most of set pieces. That's eh, only one. Play entertaining. Yes, that should be the most important. Play entertaining and winning. Winning is the most important. Work within the wage budget. I'll try to do that better. Whoa, on five-year plan. Expand. Okay, they read my mind. Expand the stadium. All right, well, they don't. You guys can do that. Board, put your money in there. Expand that stadium. More money, more money. Um, fight bravely against relegation. Again, huh? Let's just accept this right now. Um, hey, what's this? Perfect blend. I got an achievement. Perfect blend. Whatever that means. Um, discuss plans for next season. Okay, here we go. This is where I mess everything up. <laughs> Looking ahead to next season, I'm optimistic that we can avoid relegation. Yeah, let's do that. Hey, they're pleased. You know, go off. Once you all return from the holiday, yeah, we'll see you when you get back. Go off and enjoy your vacation. I think that's the best best team talk I ever had. <laughs> it's right there. Um, what's this? Notable strengths. They are an aggressive team who tend to who tend to channel it well. All right. Okay, oh, they got a green rainbow now between them. According to this, okay, let's move on. Um, yeah, we were we were blessed again with not getting, it must be our physios. Our physios are, are doing well. We had a few injuries, but not bad. Okay, they'll come back on the 22nd of June. Uh, head coach of the, oh, I got second. Right. Earlier it said I had third. It was another email to show. Maybe that was a different. This is the Lambert wins Riders head coach of the year. Came in second. I mean, put in a close fight for the award. Matt, what did we get? We got, well, look at our win rate. It's only 37, but we were expected to be, you know, relegated, right? Or in a relegation battle. So I was uh, above that. So yeah, I'll show you guys the awards. Um, Scotland. Pl oh, it's players. Okay, there's the writers and the players. They got third. Okay, I'm not smoking something funny. I got third in the players head coach of the year. I like that one, Blair. That one better because it comes from the players. The writers, ah, eh, they're probably biased, right? <laughs> they could be the players as well. All right, let's go. Um, here's the squad. I know I want to show you guys everything, but the top goal scorer, we just seen it. Duncan Kerr, so we'll finish it off here. Duncan Kerr, 24 and all. J.I., 29. Buick, Williamson, 6. Assists, Maris, Buick, Letko, uh, Penrice, uh, player of the match. I showed you guys know this. Jay High, but uh, Buick, Kerr, key passes. Penrice, 79. Let's take this. I think there's some guys that are hurt. Yeah, here we go. 79 key headers. Blackman, 56. 
key tackles. Eight, Timmy. Okay, interceptions was uh, Kofi, 108. I'm going to adjust that. We can see it. 105. So we had two guys over 100 with the uh, interceptions, so that's good. Yeah, I'd like to get Flatman maybe back on. We'll see what happens. He's on contract with Hearts for another year. We'll see if he wants to loan us out. Because I'm probably right. I'm probably one of his favorite players, right? Favorite personnel? I mean, I don't know what what and his and his teammate. He likes to let go. So maybe that gives, I don't know if it's coded in the game since you know, since he's playing for me, you know, does that give like, you know, a 0.01% of playing better or something? I don't know how it's written, but I'm sure it it there is some effect to that. Um it says mistakes leading to goals. Timmy had four. And top XG, 19.90 for Duncan Kerr. So he was ahead of that. And then Jay High, 14.67. But look at this. We've had him since, right? I've had him since the beginning. The first year, right? I'm on the trial. But every year, look at that. All the way up from League 2, League 1, Championship, and the Premiership, all over a 7. You guys are looking for a decent striker with consistency. Consistency. This is the player to get. There's his real name. Jamal Justin Hector Ingram. Go get him. He's playing when he starts. He's with uh, Darby. So, no, excuse me. Yeah, Darby. He was alone with Steven and Trial. Was he on a free? When I started, I got him on a free. I got him. I found him on a free. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, I trialed him. I went in a free. So go get him if he's on your. Uh... Sometimes I, I've noticed that uh, uh, some players or people made a comment and hey, go look at this player. But I tried to find him and he wasn't in my database. So um, that depends on how many leagues and stuff. Right now, I got what do I have? This is the leagues I got, but I have them all on view only. So that's gonna that's not gonna bring more players. The only playable one is I have Scott Links. I just want my computer. I'm playing on a laptop. I just want a good performance. I don't want it to get really slowed down. So, you know, if I put it here on playable for Italy, it'll the game will generate more Italian players. Um what else is going on here? Let's look at the world real quick, guys. Um, I'd like to show you what's going on. The world rankings. We got Brazil, Spain, Belgium, England, France, Argentina, Senegal. And that always surprised me. I guess, I mean, it's a small country, right? I mean, they got 16, over 16 million. Good for them. Good for them, Senegal. Um, Germany, same with Nigeria, Uruguay, top 10. Uruguay is such a small country there. That's probably the smallest, right? For, yeah, for just over 3 million population in Uruguay, and their world rank is 10th. So pound for pound, quality of players, Uruguay is... The place to be right nigeria's got way more than yeah 206 million good night that's what i mean germany's got what 83 wow nigeria's got that many and then 16 that's the second lowest 16 million senegal i mean all these are big 45 million yeah france has got what 65 england's what 55 or 55 million population belgium's okay belgium's the second least 11 on the top 10. spain you got 46 and brazil's got what 212 million according to this football manager but where's usa they're 12. portugal 11. portugal's got what I mean, 10 million so good for uruguay what Three, just over three, less than three and a half million and ranked 10th. Good job. Um, let's look at, um, if there's anything else you guys want me to look at, let's look at the champion. I know it's not final. Oh, the finals here, 
Bayern and Liverpool. So, hey, we had PSG last year. I'll, I'll show you the, the who wins it uh, beginning of the next video, if I remember. <laughs> if I remember. Uh, Euro Cup. What is it? Leipzig and Arsenal. Wow, Arsenal won it. Wow. So they won it 2022-23. Chelsea and then Arsenal 20. They can win back-to-back. -back. Arsenal. They are kicking boot, huh? Kicking booty. They got they don't even have a captain. Arteta is the manager. Good for them. What's well, they're fifth in the Premier League? So we got Chelsea. Chelsea, Man, uh, Man City, Liverpool. Wow, look at Bournemouth. Wow, good for them. Got Wolves relegated. What happened there? Past winners here in my in my world. We got Man City, Man United, Man City, Man United. Okay. All right, guys. Now there's always something here. We're gonna have what's gonna what's gonna happen to my. We got six hundred fifty five thousand. We finished officially here in tenth, which we get. Um, like I said, see, I have a good memory sometimes. One point one four million pounds, and we'll see what happens with my uh, finances here. Wage budget. I have twenty over. So 20,000, hopefully it'll go higher than that. Right now we're, we're spending 24,000. So the board's like, no, we're not gonna give you any more money. You just spend more. We'll see We'll see what happens with the board. Um, but hey, we're at it. We don't have no debt. We're sitting okay. We need to, they, 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 I was good that we seen that they, in a five-year plan, they do plan to expand the stadium. Um, and we'll see what happens. There's a couple of players who's expiring, as I said. My team 2026. 20, so this, these guys, yeah, he'll probably go. Uh, Bomber and Maris. I'll probably sign them. We'll see what they want. And uh, that will be the next video. All the transfers, the ins and out, and the first match of the second year in the Premiership because we survived. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, keep moving forward.